Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology, this time with a unit on performing goodness of fit tests. What does this mean? This means I have a variable, usually nominal or ordinal in nature, and want to test whether this variable follows a well, previously determined by any other means given distribution. So for example, I can select here my variable city. I know I have three different outcomes, Cologne, Düsseldorf, Wuppertal. And I can sh check whether this variable, with its three different outcomes, follow a given distribution. So it could go for this to analyze. As here I'm testing for distributions, I'm running a non-parametric test. And I could either go with one sample or with the older versions with the legacy dialogs and run here a chi-squared test. So let's start with the older version. If we go here, we need to select our testing variable. Then down here, determine all the expected values. So here we would go, for example, we assume for the first category, for Cologne, a share of 40%. We would assume for Düsseldorf a share of 40% as well. And finally for Wuppertal a share of 20%. And we could run this. And we got our result as follows. Our observed, our expected values, the corresponding residuals, the corresponding chi squared statistic, and the degrees of freedom, leading to this result. This means our H0 hypothesis is rejected. In this case it means there is a significant difference between the observed ob frequencies and the expected frequencies. So our variable does not follow the given distribution. Okay, this is one way to go about this. A different way, as I mentioned, is the newer version where I can go here with the one sample. In this case, I first go to fields and have to bring everything but the variable I want to test to the left. So this is the only variable I want to test. And then I need to go by hand to test and select here this most suitable test. And in this case, if I go on customize test, this would be compare observed probabilities to hypothesized or expected proba uh, probabilities. So run a chi-squared test. So I click this and under options I can customize my probabilities. So I can go first category, assume a relative frequency of 0 0.4. Second category, assume a frequency of 0 0.4. And third category, assume a uh, probability of 20%. So that's exactly the same values as before. I click on OK and on Run. I get the following result. The categories of city occur with the specified probabilities. Here I get a significance level of zero. That's actually the same one as below here. And this tells us again reject the null hypothesis, so the variable city does not follow the given distribution, does not share the specified properties. Well, this is all there is to running a goodness of fit test. And, well, for this short session, I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And if you're interested in more of this type of videos, feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.